now lightheaded and need to recover a little bit. Here's Matt. It's hot in the studio. Hey, you know what? <laughs> remember, remember when Monday nights were we wrestling do nights? Anymore. We don't that's, do that anymore. That's not true. No. That's not true anymore. <laughs> Wednesday night is wrestling night. So, you all right, Sorry. Sorry. You okay over there, buddy? If you're okay. if you're it's watching good. wrestling only on Monday <laughs> night, if you're watching wrestling only on Monday nights, you're doing it wrong. You're supposed to be watching on Wednesday nights. Apparently. When the really with, great stuff and the really awful stuff is on. With three TVs in front of you. <laughs> Not the stuff you feel indifferent towards, which is what you're watching on Monday. Or you, or you can do five hours straight like someone did. Why would almost, you do that? Five I, hours? I, I, need to, I need to map you're, this out better because I did it wrong know. last week. You don't want to know hey, how many Hey, I'm going gonna, gonna to I'm gonna say this first like, with no disrespect at all. You are insane for doing that. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Riz. No, well, it's fine. Let, let, let's um, let, let's lay out how we um, how our viewing pattern went on Wednesday. I'll go first. Um, okay. I I started with the second hour of Impact on Destination America. Got through that. Watched Ring of Honor on Destination America. Then watched simultaneously tried to watch the first hour of Impact and NXT on my laptop mm -hmm. at the same time. And fell asleep halfway through both. And I had to come back in the morning and watch those. And pick up Lucha Underground in the morning. So that was five hours of wrestling. Which was technically four hours of wrestling. But condensed into about eight hours of time. So how'd you, how'd you do it, Mike? You went five straight. Um, yeah, I, I did five straight. Um, I, I led with strength, as I always do. Uh, I watched Lucha first. Uh, after Lucha, I went to ROH. After ROH, I went to NXT, and then for, I guess, save the best for last, I, right. I watched Impact afterwards. Um, I, I feel like this was uh, not the best strategically planned out. No. No, I, th I think this week I'm going to start with ROH, then go to Lucha, then NXT, and then Impact. I would really end with Lucha. Like I feel like Lucha needs oh, no, to be. I, I need to watch Lucha first. I really I, like watching Lucha on Thursday mornings. That just feels right, like a bowl of cereal <laughs> and Lucha That's it feels it feels good. Thursday morning Lucha. I, right. I watch. I never know oh. when Lucha's gonna kill someone though. That uh, might might be true. Who else watched I, every I, I show watched, on Wednesday? I watched. Uh, <laughs> I didn't watch the Lucha Underground from you know this week until later in the weekend, but I watched uh, NXT first. I recorded uh, ROH and watched that, even though I watched it the previous uh, Sunday. Mm -hmm. I watched it again on, on uh, Wednesday. Then I watched two episodes of Lucha Underground back to back. And, and then the rest of the weekend, I watched the rest of Lucha Underground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to talk to you about your binge. binge All right. So it, it, was, it was monumental. Uh, there was one interesting thing I noticed on Destination America. No uh, catheter commercials. Okay, there were two interesting <laughs> things I noticed on Destination America. <laughs> um, Ring Truth of Honor. Martini not asking you about your colon. <laughs> Maybe he did to me, Riz. Jay Lethal not selling you knee braces. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. So I, I don't watch Sinclair, so I don't get any of those references. I tell you what, <laughs> um, you still get them if you watch it on the website as I did today. Yeah. <laughs> They're all still there. There's still all those commercials. There's still a 50 minute broadcast. Because it's all those all those commercials are Even not the cowboy. Oh, I got the cowboy. Yes, I got the cowboy. <laughs> I the cowboy. He's a professional. So awesome. He's a professional cowboy. A what professional was he trying cowboy. to sell me? <laughs> he was a professional <laughs> cowboy like, because wow. professional cowboy. That's what's going to appeal to me, the Ring of Honor fan. And and I'm just trying to figure how many people need catheters that are watching Ring of Honor. I don't get Wait, it. So we need to get on this catheter deal. deal. My dad, I paused it and went out to, to make lunch on Sunday, and I paused it on that cowboy. And it said about catheters, and my dad's like, why are you watching an infomercial about catheters? <laughs> I was like, no, I'm watching Ring of Honor. I'm starting to understand uh, why this wasn't broadcast in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, catheters is not... You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> top five things we need advertised. Anyways, Mike, you had a point you were trying to get yes. to. Um. I thought it was interesting that Ring of Honor had commercials for Impact Wrestling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Impact Wrestling did not have commercials for Ring of Honor. Well, just no. Ring of Honor 
replay was on right afterwards. That's Destination America, though. 